Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to send data to a Google Sheet. So we are going to use MIT App Inventor to send data to a Google Sheet. So let me just show you an example for this app so you can send any data. So for example, I have created a to-do list app over here where you can enter the task, time and status and click on save. This data will be stored on Google Sheet and this data will also be seen on the list which will get the data from the google sheet so let me just show you the demo i'm going to put the task to be just work for example and then time to be 5 pm next i'm going to put the status to be not done and i'm going to click on save now you can see that this is added in the list so over here you can see the to-do list file which is a google sheet and over here all the data which you enter in the app is saved as you can see you you'll be able to see the timestamp of the submission the task the time and the status as you can see the task is work time is 5 pm and the status is not done so this is what we submitted in the app so let's see how we can create this in MIT App Inventor. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So first we are going to bring in a label for the title of the app. Let's change the text of this label to be to do list. I'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size to be 30 like this. To bring this at the center of screen 1, I'm going to change the properties of the screen 1. So let's change align horizontal to be center like this. Next we are going to put the different fields which they'll enter. So let me just go to the layout and I'm going to bring in a horizontal arrangement for which the width is going to be fill parent. Next let me go to the user interface and over here I'm going to bring in a label. Let's change the text of this label to be task. Next, I'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 20. I'm going to bring in a text box and in this text box, they'll enter the name of the task. So I'm going to put the hint of this to be name of the task. Next, we want this to be arranged properly at the center. So let me go to the horizontal arrangement one and let's change the al align vertical to be center like this. Now I'm going to duplicate this and the next field is the time. And let me change the hint of this also to be time. Next, I'm going to duplicate this again. And the next one is the status. So for the status, we are going to put, we are not going to put a text box. Instead, we'll put a spinner. So let me just go over here and drag in a spinner. So this, this works like a drop down. So I'm going to put the elements from string to be done and not done, which are the two options of the status. Now you can see that there are two strings over here, done and not done for the spinner. Next let's add a save button. I'm going to change the text of this to be save. And let's increase the font size to be 20 and make the font bold like this. Next we need a list where we will show the to-do list and we will get the data from the Google Sheet. So I'm, I'm just going to bring in a list view. Let's increase the width to be fill parent like this. And I'm going to change the background color of this list to be white and the text color of this list to be black like this. Next we need two web components. So using web components we can add the data to the Google Sheet and also read the data from the Google Sheet. So let me go to the connectivity section of MIT App Inventor and I'm going to drag in two web components like this. So let me rename this to be this is for reading. So I'm going to put read and the second web is for adding. So adding data to the Google Sheet. So I'm just going to put add like this. So now you can see that we have two web components using which we can read and add. Next we are going to create the Google Sheet where we are going to store all the data. So as you can see I have opened a new file in Google Sheets and I have named it to-do list. So over here you can you'll be able to save all the data. So to do that first we are going to create a Google form. So what will happen is from MIT App Inventor whatever the user enters will go into the Google form and it will be submitted into the Google form and it will go inside the Google Sheet. So that's how we are going to do it. So for that, we are going to create a Google form. So to create it, let's go to tools 
and you will be able to see create a form so over here you will be able to see the form like this you can also access it access it from over here so first i'm going to put the question one to be the task now over here you can see that i have put all the three fields task time and status and i have set them to short answers so make sure you set them to short answers like this and also what you can do is you can just turn off the required you can turn it turn it off so that if they didn't enter any of these then also it will submit and go to the google sheet now what will happen is whenever some user enters in the google form this will go directly to the google sheet next we will try to do it in mit app inventor so that when the user enters the fields it will go it will fill it in the google form and go to the google sheet so now if you go to form responses you'll be able to see all the four titles like timestamp task time and status next we are going to get, get the link a shareable link of this google sheet so that we can access it in mit app inventor so let me click on share and i'm going to change this to be anyone with the link i'm um, let me just copy the link like this and in mit app inventor let's go to the block section so whenever screen one is initializing let me bring in this block let's go to the web one dot read so first we are going to find out how we can read data from the google sheet and show it in a list view so let me just go over here and we are going to set the web one read which is the read web dot url to be the url which we copied so we need to make a small change to the url so as you can see over here in the url we'll be able to see that we are going to remove this part and we are going to change it to be export question mark format equal csv like this so what this means is that this will convert the google sheet and it will export it with the format of a csv table like this so that's what we are going to do with this link so let me just copy the link and we are going to set the web one url to be the link which we copied which is this one so after we set the url we need to get the data from the google sheet so let me go to the read web and we are going to use the get function like this so that we can get it so after we get the data let me just bring in this block when web one read dot got text, we will use the response content, and we are, as you as you can see, this is a CSV format. So we are we need we are going to convert it to a list format so that we can show it in a list view. So for that, we are going to go to the list section, and you'll be able to see list from CSV list from CSV table text. So we are going to bring in this block. So the text is going to be the response content. So this is the list where we are going to store the data and let's just create a new variable where we can store the data. I'm just going to call it to do list and we are going to set it to be an empty list when we are initializing. Next, I'm going to set the global to do list to be the list from the CSV table text like this. And next, what we need to do is we need to remove the first index of the list. So we are going to remove this part because we don't need the titles so let me just go over here to list and i'm going to bring in the remove like this remove function and i'm going to put the list of list over here to be the to do list and the index is going to be one next after we remove the first row from this we need to show it in the list view so for that let me go over here to list view one and we are going to set the list view one dot elements to be this variable next when the save button is clicked which is button one let me just bring in when button one dot click we need to save all the data in the google sheet so as i told you before we are going to use the google form to send the data to the google sheet so first what we will do is over here in the google form we are going to copy the link like this and in a new tab i'm just going to paste it and at the end you're just going to type form response like this next let me just copy the link and let me go over here to web to add because this time we are going to add we are going to use this web component and 
over here we are going to again set the url of this web2 component to be whatever we copied so let me just bring in this string component and put it over here next we are going to join many things over here so that we can fill the form so for that let's just go over here and we are going to bring in the join block and the first one first thing is going to be this link next let me go over here and the second one is going to be so to get this first we are going to create a pre-filled link for this form so let me just click on get pre-filled link and over here you will be able to see the form and over here i'm going to put the task of this just to be a b and c the time and the status so this is just to get the link now after you get the link let's copy this and i'm going to paste this in a new tab like this so now what we are going to do is that every text box over here has a particular id so for example the task text box has a id the time and the status also have the id so we will fill to fill it we, we will first get the id so over here you will be able to see the and entry dot and you will be able to see some number so this is the id of the text box we are going to copy this till the equal to and let me paste it over here in mit app inventor so what this will do is this will fill whatever we put over here in the task text box in the google form so let me i'm going to add another string in this join block and in this one we are going to put text box one dot text so that we can fill whatever they enter in this text box over here in this id next i'm just going to bring in more strings and now let me just duplicate this and we are going to put the id for the next time text box so which is from here and this time we are going to set this to be text box 2 dot text next let me duplicate this again and we are going to put it for the third text box like this and let me just paste it over here in MIT app inventor this time as you know we have we are we are going to use a spinner for the status so let me just go to spinner and we are going to choose spinner one dot selection so now we have created the link so we are just going to get so let me just go over here and we are going to bring in the get block like this call web to add dot get next after we get it so let me just bring in this after we got the text what we will do is we will just duplicate this and we will call web one read dot get like this so before we test the app there is one small change you need to do so for the first entry you need to just change the and symbol ampersand symbol to be a question mark symbol like this it is just for the first one so now over here you can see the to-do to -do list app so i'm going to add a task to be homework i'm going to put the time of this to be 2 pm and i'm going to put the status to be done like this now let me click on save as you can see this is added to the list so we are getting the data from the google sheet now let us check if it is added to the google sheet also so now over here in the google sheet to do list google sheet you can see that it shows the timestamp the task and also the time and the status which we have added in the mobile next you need to read the data and get the data from the google sheet so for that watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor over here <laughs> Thank you.